Hello, my name is Dmitry Kudrovsky. I'm from Triaxis Company. I'm going to explain how to create stereo image using Triaxis 3D model software. We will produce a so-called layer stereo image. For that purpose, we'll need an inkjet black printer, a laminator, and cold lamination mode and 3D masterpiece software. So, we're going to create a layer stereo picture like this one. <laughs> to create such picture, we need just one photo and so-called template. The PSD file consists of several layers. Start with the master kit and open a project MTP sample. MTP project is included into install pack. After program installation, you can find the sample in the place where program is installed. There is a sample photo already inserted in the project friend slash project dot mtp. You can use your own photo instead of this one. The template can also be adjusted at your desire. Now we should generate a series of frames from this project. For that, we open Generate Frames dialog and press Generate. Here we can set depth parallax of every layer. Everything is already set in this project and each layer has its depth. The maximum parallax layer for foreground and background layers is 4.5 or 5. These values are the best for 70 LPI lenticular plastic and 30 to 40 centimeters view distance. It is recommended to set zero parallax for picture so it won't distort. Generate frame series. To evaluate the fact, press animation button. If effect is OK, we start lenticular encoding. For that, we switch to the lenticular tab. This is a lenticular lens. We can see stereo effect by means of this lens. The main parameter we should take into account when encoding is the pitch, the number of lenses per inch. We need to have an exact pitch value to get a high quality lenticular image. To find an exact pitch for given lenticular material, we make a pitch test. For that, press Generate Pitch Test button in the lenticular tab dialog box appears. Here we should input appropriate LPI value for the plastic. The particular sheet we have is marked as 70 LPI, so we input 70 in the pitch field. Then we should input resolution for the printer we will print on in the resolution field. Other fields in the dialogs will leave by default. Then the press generate and get pitch test, a kind of abstract image which then should be printed using printer and paper you're going to use for stereo image producing. Here is our pitch test. Let it dry for a few minutes and then apply to being tested lens. First, it is necessary to align plastic so that the lenses of the plastic accurately get into the code stripes. There is a tuning frame for that purpose around print. We should put the plastic so that the line seen through the lens is exact but not broken. As soon as we obtain that, we can define the pitch of that very plastic. To do this, change your viewing angle 
perpendicularly to encoding stripes. We should find a band that switches along its full length simultaneously when we're moving. Here we have LPI value 70.2. So that very value we input into the field pitch in the lenticular tab. That value is correct for all lenses from the lot. It is necessary to make pitch test in case you change printing paper, printer, or plastic. We've inputted LPI value in the lenticular tab. Then select lens orientation. In our case, it's vertical. Input height and width of the image we want to get into the size field. Then press Generate. As the result of generation, we've got stripy encoded image. Now we can print it. We put the lens on the encoded and printed image in order to evaluate stereo effect before laminating. If you're happy with the result, you may start laminating. For that, we fall back about one centimeter of protective film. The plastic has already a passive layer for cold laminating. It's only necessary to remove protective film. Apply plastic to printer image accurately and obtain exact superposition of lens and encoded stereo image. It is very important to superpose plastic on encoded image very precisely. Lenses of plastic should get into encoded types of image. A so-called tuning frame is printed along the perimeter of the image in order to simplify the process of superposition. It allows us to evaluate more precisely if we superpose correctly or not. After we uh, apply the plastic and the print, we can glue the edge of plastic without protective film to the image. Now we can be sure that the plastic and the image won't shift relatively to each other. After that, we cut off extra paper. Now the only thing which is left is to glue the rest of the image to the plastic. For that, we turn over the image take out protective film and put into laminator with cold operation mode. Cold in the film, we progressively remove it. Layered stereo image is ready. The same way motion image or stereo image from frame series or real stereo shooting can be produced. Try to create such picture or flip image or the stereo image from a real shooting by yourself using samples provided with 3D Master Kit software.